All right, let's do a little short video here, ladies and gentlemen, on how to change out your um, your brake pads on your aircraft. It really facilitates if you have the proper tools. So one of them is this part, goes into a vise, locks into place, take your brake pad, expose the rivet, put a punch on it, drive out one brass rivet, drive out two brass rivets and there comes the paper thin brake pad right off. That's one. By the way these tool kits are available from Aircraft Tool Supply, Aircraft Spruce. So that's how you take the pads off. I want to take these two pieces. I want to go get all clean and get all the goop off of them. Then I'll come back and show you how to reinstall the rivets. Now that we've cleaned the two respective pads, the float pad and then the fixed the disc, um, reminds me back when I was first studying to be an a and the mechanic I learned under Charles Alexander, Last Chance Aviation, whose motto was, we'll keep you flying if it takes every dollar you have. Um, he always believed that cleanliness was next to airworthiness. So let's go ahead and replace the brake pads. We'll need four rivets. And we'll need two matching brake pads. These are the new ones. Fix the tool in the vise. Rivet, rivet smashing down tool. That's a technical term for you folks who don't hear it all the time. Brake pad goes on. Put the rivets in the brake pad and put both of them in before you tighten the first one because they'll be in there so tight they won't swing around when you want to. And then invert it, get the rivet on the rivet head, put the tool there, and then using a calibrated wapometer, number 10 size, according to Ken. See if I can use both of Ken's favorite words. I'm using a wapometer calibrate it, number 10 style, to make sure this rivet thing goes in and it won't be cattywampus. Now, there's, oh, that one's not quite tight. It needs another wop. Now the brake pad is right. That's ready to go back on the aircraft. And now we'll do the fixed one. Again, the same way. Putting in both rivets, getting them through the hole. Inverting it. I'm just going to set it so I can do the other one. And then I'll secure this one all the way. And now we've replaced. Oh, one more needs to be a little bit harder. There should be no wiggle in that brake pad. There we go. Now I heard it hit steel. So now we're all good to go. So that's how you change the brake pads very quickly. The proper tools make it all really nice. These kits are available for about $35. They don't cost a whole lot. We'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilots, our YouTube channel. This directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. We'll talk to you later.